Titanic Gaming The channel where Logan will show you everything From gameplay to gear, their crew is here To take you on a journey through every atmosphere Releases to news, you don't have to choose Red Bandana Gaming is here for you Hey everybody, Logan here and today we are going to start off with a game that I saw a fellow, a, I guess you could say, a member of the RBG family playing. Uh, that was Jig James Lugo. If you guys uh, haven't checked him out, go check him out. Drop a link in the description. But he started playing this and he did a video for his personal channel. And I was thinking, you know what? If it's an open beta, I'm going to give this a try. I really like the Guilty Gear series. I've been playing it since PS1. And I decided, you know what, let's give this a shot. I was going to play it, but I was like, you know what, how about I just record it, play it for you guys. Hey, and here we go, finally. It's, it's, uh, it's got a little, little time there. Offline network. What's the offline? Welcome to the world of Guilty Gear Strive. Would you like to play through the tutorial to learn the basics of the game? No. I know how to play. Can't do arcade, can't can't do any of these. Okay. Can I do okay, it says I can do versus computer. I'm gonna I'm gonna be player one. This is so bad guy. Okay, number of rounds, time limit ninety nine, okay. So bad guy. Ah, oh, the animation's a little better too. Chips enough. <laughs> it always makes me think of Chips Ahoy. Chips enough. Animations are really good this go. We got White Fang. Faust. Axel Low. I always liked Axel. Potemkin. Chevrolet. I think there was a Potemkin down here. The car dealership. Battlefall Valentine. Okay, that's. She's really cool. Look at those swords. That's ridiculous. These are 3D, 2D models. These are hand drawn over 3D. Oh, chips enough, or we'll, we'll play a different, uh, a couple different ones. We'll, we'll start with my favorite, chips enough, and then we'll just do random. Ooh, look at that slowdown. This is not on the network, so it's it's offline. So what what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to try offline and online. So instead of reflecting on themselves, they blame the beast. Here, let, let's get rid of me for a moment. Wow, visuals are fantastic. Um, they, it feels a little slower. Ouch. This, the, the characters, I can't even call them sprites anymore because they're not, no longer sprites, they're actual 3D models. Much larger on the screen. Oh! Thought I had her. Oh, that is cool. And that's how you can tell it's a 3D model. For those people who are doubting me, I'm a 3D model. Ow, I rock right into that. Ooh, counter. And that's why I've always liked chips enough. They just come right back and it's a look at that model. See, it's a it's a fantastic 3D model. This game visually is gorgeous, and I know there's a PlayStation 5 version coming out, and I will definitely be picking this up on uh, the PlayStation 5. Uh, now I'm gonna try out 
Axle low. Oh, there's different colors. Cool. I wanna I wanna I wanna fight against Faust. The loading is a bit long. I will say that. Loading now. Yeah, this is one I would definitely recommend getting on a next gen console if it does come out on Series X uh, or PS5. We know it's coming to PS5. I'll probably get this on the PS5. I think I have one or two Guilty Gears on Xbox, but overall I've been playing them on uh, the PlayStation since PS1, so it just feels, you know. Right feels uh, like that's the console I should be playing on. Oh, that animation, though. Oof. Ow, fuck. Look at that animation. Did, did that just expand my hitbox? Is that what that did? Gave him an afro. Ow. Okay, with with Axel, I noticed I'm doing a, a little more button mashing because I don't usually play with him that much. Usually play, like I said, with a chip. So the muscle memory really isn't there for. You. For Axel. I don't remember how to do any of their specials. Oh, the super, sorry. Animations are fantastic. This is, this game is great. Definitely, definitely going to pick this one up. Uh, as a fighting game connoisseur, myself, which brings me to something else that you will see later today. And if you're still watching this video, uh, I thank you. Appreciate it. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I appreciate that. Um, let's try... Let's try one main uh, online fight. Oh, wait. There's a dojo? Dojo is training. Okay, let's see what the training mode is like. Let's, I'm pretty sure it's your standard training mode. And I'm gonna try the chick with the, the big swords. And we'll take out... Mila Rage. I guess she's Russian? So, Valentine versus Rage. The loading times, though. I'm getting really spoiled with next gen consoles. Okay, so that's cool that it shows you, like, it looks like an old arcade stick. I've never been a big fan of playing fighting games with, with the stick. I prefer using the, uh, the D pad. Oh, she's one of those with a floating sword. Is that a four-leaf clover? Yeah, it is. She's supposed to be Irish-ish? Okay, I'm liking this. Oh, not sure what I did, but that is cool. That is cool. If you could see my face if I had turned on that camera. Ooh. Okay. Ooh. Stage transitions. Okay, so that's how you pick up your weapon. You press R1.
So I guess that would be grapple too. Okay. Whoa, she's got blades on her. I like this character. Pretty cool. All right, so I, I like the setup of training mode. Um, I, I actually like the the joystick thing down in the the corner to show you exactly what your motions were. You can see how sporadic if you're going. And that was nifty. Now, the thing is, with it being, if you're using the D-pad, you see the movements are a little more snap than if you're using the stick. But, I, I can't fight with a stick. So used to using D-pads. Alrighty, so let's close this. Let's go to the main menu. So we test out three different characters. Let's do one online battle. Let's see if I get myself wrecked, or I can actually wreck. So, so far I'm really enjoying the, the visuals, the gameplay is solid. I am online, that's that's how I just did my PlayStation update. And okay, so maybe maybe the servers aren't up, but I, I'm, I'm logged in. I'm definitely on PlayStation Plus, so all right, we can try that. Let, let's try that one more time, because I am logged in. So one thing I am playing with, if you guys see the PS4 controller with the back buttons, of, of course, being I am connected. All right, might be something with the the beta itself but th these don't make it much easier uh, trying to program this for this game I haven't done it yet so it's it makes it very awkward so uh, then what we'll do since apparently it's not allowing me to go online which is kind of pooey we'll do one more we'll pick Two rounds. Whoops. Picked her. I remember her. It's a lot less characters, though. Hopefully, there's more in the final game. Tricky, tricky. He's speed. A god speed ninja. Balance. We're gonna try Leo Wayfay. And then we're gonna. This looks like someone he'd take on Potemkin. This game looks gorgeous. So instead of reflecting on themselves, I really want to play this on PS5. Or hell. I am actually streaming this as you guys saw from the PS4, but I'm streaming it on a PS4 Pro. Ooh. Oh, I didn't expect him to be so short range. Oh, that's cool. Oof, ouch. Ow. Oh, but damn good. Oh, he beat me. He beat me. All right, this guy, you would think he'd be a little stronger in his hits, but he isn't. But he's really short range. You'd think he'd be long range, but his moves are... Even with the stretching, he's not very long range. Oh, that is cool. He's a follow-up attack character. It's not like you can run and gun and hit him 
you have to follow up with uh, not necessarily a combo, but a follow up attack. Wow. I went to grab him and that didn't even touch him. There we go. <laughs> there we go. Alright. So you gotta keep rushing him. Uh, whether you're working with combos with this guy or just like I said, a follow up attack. Oh wow. I mean, look at the, the damage potential does. See, you gotta keep rushing. Those rush attacks work very well with this guy. Okay, he's that god, but Potemkin just does one smack, and it's like... Look at the amount of damage just a flick does. Um, there we go. Yeah, that one actually felt more... I, I'm not a... I like the design of this character, but I can't really say I like his playstyle. But his design is freaking awesome. So that is, I guess, the Guilty Gear Strive beta. That uh, kind of blows that I wasn't able to play it online. Um, I know my PlayStation's online. I am logged in. Uh, I have PS Plus, and yeah, so. Hmm. I was a little let down, so if you guys are trying to play, and if you get online, let me know. Um, tell me if you came into any issues while playing online. Hit that subscribe button. Follow us over on our socials. Remember, head on over to redbandanagaming.com. Check us out over there. And uh, share this video with other people if you know if they're having any problems. Let's see if they can give me an answer or, uh, or if they're having the same problem, even though I'm on PlayStation Plus. So. Uh, and there's no other... Oh, uh, let's look at There's a profile mode. Okay, whatever. R code, avatar. Standard stuff. But thank you guys so much. Uh, like I said, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. Thank you so much for the view. Thank you for liking this if you liked it. That's cool. Otherwise, be legendary. Thanks again.